breaking into Fox Weather, the 2 o'clock advisory in a little early here. Thanks for joining us here on Fox Weather Live. Let's get right to it. No changes really to Aaron at all. In fact, the structure remains about the same. We are seeing some anticipated strengthening in the day ahead, but as of right now, maintains a category three status, 125 mile an hour winds moving off to the west northwest, 13 miles an hour pressure again. No change. Here's what that looked like from 11 o'clock this morning to here we stand just before 2 p.m. So the official advisory time typically it gets at 2 o'clock, but every once in a while, National Hurricane Center likes to keep us on our toes. We'll get it a couple minutes early. So here it is again. No big changes as far as the storm itself. What is changed in this advisory is our watch for the southeastern Bahamas is now a tropical storm warning. So we are anticipating the impact here in the Turks and Caicos and the southeastern Bahamas throughout the next two days. We could see certainly a couple rain bands work their way across the islands, bring in not only the potential for some tropical storm force wind gusts, but also to some flooding rains. Here's a look at our visible satellite in the last two hours. Now we haven't been able to see the eye of Aaron like we had so clearly throughout the day yesterday when Aaron was of course that category five monster storm. It's filled in a little bit and that structure has been kind of trying to regain itself in the last 12 hours or so. But when we zero in to about the last 30 minutes or so here on visible satellite, you can see kind of the bubbling, especially on the south side here and perhaps the beginnings of our eye starting to restructure and open up a bit again. So we are expecting this storm to remain quite healthy throughout the day today, tomorrow move through those warmer waters. There's really nothing slowing down Aaron at the moment. That west northwest track though, and that's what's going to be important. Now coming up at five, that's when we're going to get a whole brand new suite of that forecast cone, the advisory, you name it. That's when we're going to get kind of an update to just about everything. So the cone remains the same. And again, our confidence is still up that this is going to curve away from the United States. We're not expecting a direct landfall and not even in spots like the Turks and Caicos and southeastern Bahamas expected to remain off to the east offshore through the open waters. But nonetheless, we are expecting impact along the US coast as far as big swells, big waves. We are expecting to see Aaron as it starts to curve. It will grow in size. Now here we are by about Thursday and what will be interesting. What you'll notice is that the strength of the storm is going to weaken. So that number that mile per hour number that gives us our category is going to start to come down. But when that happens, the storm is going to begin to grow. And now the larger the system, the more energy we're transferring into the ocean. And that is unfortunately what's going to bring our greatest risks from I think the mid Atlantic coastline all the way up through the Jersey Shore Long Island. This is where we're going to see not only some pretty massive swells, but dangerous and life threatening rip currents and we'll have to continue to follow how Aaron trends within that cone, right? We could see the core of this maybe continue to sneak onto the left side as has been a pretty consistent trend in the last couple runs. That might bring just enough to bring some of those outer rain bands a bit towards the outer banks where we could see some tropical storm force wind gusts here. Kill Devil Hills Hatteras. This is by Thursday morning. Again, storm track is something we have to watch very closely for now. So some of those strong coastal winds aiding in some erosion and perhaps some concerns there by the end of this week. But we'll keep you up to date again. This is still a couple days out, but I think we prepare for now.